Hi guys, I haven't posted anything for a while on YouTube, but this is my new redone router. Not quite finished yet, but um, I had to make it a lot sturdier as the last router that I had because I made it out of steel. Uh, my welding wasn't that crash hot, so uh, it was a bit all over the place. So I'm using the aluminium extrusion. Uh, length, the y-axis um, is the 60 by 60 and uh, the horizontal x-axis, these ones here um, they're 30 by 60 um, I just found it a lot easier to put the 16mm um, rails on because the spacing for the holes is all 30 by 30 um, 30mm so they fit basically straight on. So all that I'd done was um, a bit of um, aluminium, um, I suppose, just strapping. Just slides in there and I just tapped it. And all the way down, it just it just slides on and then everything bolts to it, as in the rails do anyway. You can see a bit of the strapping. I don't know whether you can see it in there. Um, and it just basically pulls everything tight. Um, spindle, I've decided instead of the router, decided to go with a uh, 1.5 kilowatt water cooled spindle. It only has an EA11 attachment, but I'm not planning on doing anything bigger than your 7mm tool bit. So, um, 24 revolutions um, a minute maximum. And um, I'll show you the cooling setup first. Um, and I'll go over this side. I've gone to PC Case Gear and they have these little radiators um, that they use for PC water cooling. Um, these are 120 mil fans and the radiator as you can see it's uh, it's quite thick. Um, uh, I think it's about 60 mil or so. Um, so it's got a bit of cooling. Just a Tupperware container full of the coolant. I'm using a bit of, uh, it's a special for computers, uh, for water cooling computers. So I know it's got its all, you know, no, um, won't let any bacteria breed and stuff like that. And just a cheap pump. Uh, I think it's about 600 litres per minute. So the water flows this way down to the bottom. It obviously fills the radiator, goes up to the top, goes into the spindle, comes out the other side, and then just goes straight into the container. Um, I still have um, to attach this little um, temperature monitor just for the water. Uh, it runs off 12 volts uh, with a little sender here. I mean, sorry, not a sender. The, um, uh, the temperature actual monitor, the probe. Um, the main body is 10 mil aluminium uh, as that was the more readily available for me um, apart from the top plate which is 12 mil um, all the way down. Um, what I'm going to do with the plate is going to be drilled and tapped all the way probably spacing of I don't know 20 mil or so maybe 25 and then these, uh, the M5 10 mil countersunks, they're going to be placed in it so to hold down the work I can just unscrew it, a uh, bit of washer or whatever and I can just do it and also if I'm running, running coolant I, because these will be permanently in the, in the um, base I don't have to worry about the coolant dripping down everywhere um, onto the, the screws. Um, I don't know whether you can see, I probably can't see from this side. Um, they're all anti backlash ball screws, C7 hardened, um, hardened uh, ball screws. I don't know, you can't even see that. Uh, the limit switches I've mounted on the side. And there's another one up behind here. And also, there's two, as you can, oh, it's probably hard to see, uh, right there, which hit um, this rail here, 
to tell the machine's gone too far and over the other side it's got another one so if it goes that way um, it'll um, stop as well um, uh, NEMA 23 motors the same that I used a lot of this stuff was transplanted from my machine uh, my old machine was in the motors I still got the gecko drive to to wire up um, the spindle controller I've just mounted here for now um, it can go forwards, reverse, I can vary it I still got a, um, there's a way to interface this with uh, um, to make the speed adjustment a lot easier with a potentiometer uh, I think it's a 10k one and I can vary so I'll just run up, it's very, it's poor, I think it's quiet This is full speed, basically, you know, just under 24,000 revs. Um, and it'll adjust the torque as needed to, um, to, um, I suppose, oh, not the amperage, should I say. It'll adjust the amperage just to make sure it doesn't bog down on the tool. But that's all, um, it's fairly technical, um, it's way past me at the moment. Um, but it'll be a lot more precise than um, my old router which I found the the collets were very hard to um, uh, to get right especially for engraving work when you've got a very fine tip um, so these are 12 mil plates uh, up the, the top I don't know whether you can sort of it's it's hard to tell how it's all running but I'll have hopefully the next video will be showing it running I'm still going to put another plate here to hold this side together I just had um, this 12 mil plate was laying around I had I haven't got any more so I just um, machined that up um, so there'll be another one probably roughly about here um, so that's just to hold it a bit more steady but it's 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 pretty sturdy as as we are um, and it's um, it's fairly heavy. Um, yeah. Um, these rails up the top. These are 20 mil rails. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's pretty much it. I will be adding a fourth axis probably over here somewhere so I can do cylindrical work. Um, the monitor for the computer at the moment is mounted here but I think I will be mounting it over here um, because at first I was going to have the keyboard and everything over here but I just I prefer to work from from that way where I can see everything instead of having this um, in front of me so um, yeah but oh we'll get there um, please feel free to comment whatever anything um, I can help with I'll um, I'll let you know Thank you.